The 4th of July is the deadliest holiday in the U.S. That's according to a study by the Insurance Institute. That goes for the Metro, too. Take a look at this map behind me. The red pins are homicides that have occurred this weekend. The blue pins represent violent crimes like robberies and assaults. And then the yellow pins, those are fatal accidents. One of those accidents happened just hours ago when a motorcyclist was hit and killed. Officials say that they're still investigating right now. And 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial spoke with police on why this weekend is so deadly. Stephen? Dia, today's hit and run marks the 44th traffic fatality that we've had so far in Kansas City. Last year this time, there were only 27. That's a big spike and it's costing a lot of lives. A driver hit and killed a motorist at 60th and Swope Parkway. The only thing left at the scene was the man's body and the bumper from the car that hit him. The driver kept going. It's just two seconds. Just took two seconds and that would have saved somebody's life. Destiny Barrett saw it all unfold. So I told my husband to stop the car and I got out the car and I checked his pulse. He wasn't, he didn't have a pulse. KCPD says the driver of a white Nissan failed to yield for the man on the motorcycle. The Nissan left the scene, it's been located, and we have a driver in custody. Sergeant Deb Randall says the driver was a female, but Barrett believes she saw something different. Supposedly a woman came back that she said she hit him, but I didn't see that lady driving that vehicle. I seen a man driving. Sergeant Randall says this death highlights a bigger issue in the city, 44 traffic deaths. For all of 2016, we had 68. It's just slow down. Nobody's in that big a hurry. Barrett agrees. Patience. We need to work on patience driving these vehicles in Kansas City. Now, KCPD tells us that that driver is in custody, but they did not say an arrest or charges have been formally filed. We're live in Kansas City. Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.